And when thinking about differentiation, and you spoke to us about differentiating content process product, where does that link with success criteria and learning intentions? Yeah. So in our um, in our success criteria, we need to make sure that every student in the class can access at least one of the success criteria and be successful. And then other students will uh, access other success criteria as the unit evolves and as they uh, elaborate on their thinking. So the success criteria allow that differentiation. One, per one student might only be able to access one, other students more, and some of course all of the success criteria. So there's um, a fair amount of differentiation that happens when we get our success criteria directly connected to those curriculum expectations.